Hello guys, Jagveer Singh back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will further discuss the new features of surface designing in Katia V5 module. So let's get started. So in last video we just went through a couple of features which were extract and multi-surface but in this video I will show you some extra features that you might encounter on daily basis while working with Katia. So let's say I make a couple of random sketches. I'm not going to be way too fancy and way too particular about it. I'm just going to pick random spine, spline let's say, just like that. And the another one as well. I'm not going to even dimension them, it's just random. So I just leave it that way. You can see that there are no constraints, nothing. Just two simple lines. And I will try to perform multi section as we did in the last time. So let's try to make a shape of a fuselage. Fuselage is the plane, plane shape. If you guys just go and hover to it and you search uh, fuselage, you can see fuselage is the, this part of the body of a plane which we will try to mimic if we go to images you can see this is basically a fuselage that we will try to make just the half section of it not the full section so you can see you as you already saw the section looks like basically a semicircle emerging from the side so I will choose a front plane and make half of the section so I'm just going to quickly project a couple of features. This point and this point. Click OK. I'm just going to make them construction elements because I, I don't need them. And so I'm going to use spline again. And I'm going to simply make a random section just like I made before. And exit out of the sketch. Well, it's kind of too much, I would say. You can reduce the width of the fuselage just slightly, not a lot. And then, in this particular video, I will show you that how you can work with features like trim and split. So, three to four main features are always going to be a key while you're working with part or surface designing. Sorry, surface, de uh, surface designing. So let's say if I have to uh, use multi section for this particular feature, I still need to have another section till where I am going to multi sect this particular surface still. So I need to offset a plane. Let's say I'm going to offset a plane right here at any distance. I'm going to click OK. And I just want this section to be propagated till this particular plane and the section that I'm going to make here should be of of similar shape but a different radii or a different or slightly larger section. If we go back to the fuselage as we okay fuselage right here you can see the shape varies from the center. The first section is pretty small, but it the thickness varies as it go, goes back to back. So I'm just going to try to replicate just the first half of the section. Let's say if the first section is small, the second one right here is going to be slightly bigger than the first section. So what I generally do is because I if I just click on this plane and try to sketch it's going to be really hard for me to actually find that where exactly the, these these projection points are so let's say I'm going to take this line and this line as reference and click OK so right now if I make a sketch I'm not very sure that whether the sketch that I'm going to make is going to intersect this particular line because if it doesn't 
then the multi-section won't work. That's how multi-section feature works in general. So I'm just going to control Z and I'm not going to do so. So the better way is that I exit after the sketch and before making any section I make sure that I do have reference points which I can use to project them inside a sketch which can be used to create a sketch. So I know it sounds a bit tricky but let's see what we can actually do. For the same I will use intersection. The best part about this feature is when you use it it asks for first element. In this case I want to select these two lines the ones that, that I made and the second element is going to be the plane where I want them to be I basically want these two elements to intersect when I click on preview you can see that these two lines are being intersected by this plane at the at these two particular points and that's exactly what I'm looking for in order to make a sketch so I click OK so now it asks me that do I want to keep all the sub elements or just keep one sub element or what exactly do I want to do so in this case I would like to keep all the sub elements I, I want to keep both the points if I just want to keep one point I can just say keep one sub element using near or far and then I can then I can basically choose that which point do I want to keep but in this case I want to keep both of them so I'm just going to say keep all the sub elements and then click OK so now I have a plane and two points to work with in order to make a sketch and that's going to make my life easy so now I click on sketch right here so I already have two points which I can use as a reference so I'm just going to simply project them just the two points nothing much so both the points are going to be projected right here click OK don't forget to convert them into construction elements otherwise they are going to interfere with your normal sketch and it, it will always show an error that uh, you're not able to use uh, the multi-section properly so if you ever have any error showing in your multi-section and you're sure that everything else is correct just make sure that the points that you converted are construction element so now, now I exit out so now the next step is that I want to join these two surfaces I can see that I do have guiding lines which are passing through both the sections and if you are a beginner then you might think that multi-section should work so let's try on this so I click on click on multi-section and I mean basically it's, it asks you for the sections right so we already have this section and this particular section and for the guides you will say that okay we do have the guides as well and I made both the guides in one sketch so here is going to be an error just like that they are non-connex element so what they are basically saying that is both of the sketches or the guides are within the same sketch we have a solution to it as we used in the last video in which I told you that we can use extract feature which is just right here to actually extract any sketch and make it as an individual sketch so I so you can always click on this small pouch kind of kind of a thing to have multiple selections so I'm just going to extract both of them and they are going to be extracted individually and they will be independent of each other as a sketch so now if I go and choose the multi section and try to do the same thing for the guide I can choose now two different guidelines right here so it shows that yes we can use those as our guides till the given shape that we already have but the problem is that sometimes it might end up showing some errors if the geometry is not uniform across a certain area so 
So in, in order to avoid that, what I personally recommend is to always use the guide curve till the first and the second section emerges. What I mean by that is, just like I use this multi-section surface in front of you, so there are two sketches and two guides right, just right here. When I click preview, you can see that I've chosen the entire guide, even the part that I'm not using or making the surface for. So this basically, these sides of the guide are kind of useless for now because we are not using it. We are just trying to create a surface from the first cross, cross section to the other cross section. And that's limited to the points of the sketch. So what I personally do is I make sure that I trim the extra lines that I don't need so that I, I can use them later on in future if I want to make a new section. So here is a split and trim feature that we can use. So I can use the split function. Split is basically it will cut the element till wherever you want. First element to cut. Which element do, do you want to cut? So this guide curve is extra. So I want to cut this guide curve and they are asking that cutting element that which element you want to cut till. So this point is going to be my cutting element. So now we can have two options that we want to get rid of this side or the other side. If you want to get rid of the other side, you can click other side. If you want to get rid of the side that we don't want it in this particular example, which is right here. And then we can click OK. So now we can see it because remember we extracted sketch one. We extracted because of that extraction. So now the extraction is disappeared. So if I hover my po pointer, you can see that now they are slightly independent of each other. Now if I try to do the multi-section, you can see that this thing has been splitted till there. Similarly, I can do this side as well. I'm going to choose this, split till here. That's my first feature and I click OK. So now keep only one sub element, this one. And I click OK. Just the track right here. It's a small issue, just a sec. So, all right, I see. I think the extract feature, you can use extract as much as you want. There is not a problem for that. You can use again and again. So now I want to get rid of that extra line till here. I want till here. So I, I just want, want this line to be used, right? So I click OK. Similarly, I want to trim this particular line till this point and I just want that side. So now when I'm going to use the multi-section surface, I have two sections just like that. And now the guiding curves are going to be limited till the point because I've cutted those lines. So now if I go to and preview, now it's going to be the guide curve. It's not going to be throughout. It's just going to be limited to those points that I used as the cutting element. So this is how you can actually use the combination of three to four features, which we learned, which was one was split and trim. You can say, I will show you trim in next video, but for now split is the one that we used. And then we used the multi-section just like we did in the last video and intersection in order to make the sketch just right here, where we used two guiding curves and one plane in order to cut them to a certain reference point wherever we need. So let's say if I want to change this plane now.
I double click on it and increase this offset so I can control that motion as well but if I if I won't have a plane offset it and if I won't have intersected this particular plane with these two guiding curves it won't have been possible for me to do so because then the sketch will be fixed at a particular position wherever I would have chosen alright thanks for watching this is it for now do not forget to subscribe the channel and share it with your friends and thank you so much that was it thank you